Now one of the main points of having a pivot table is that your source data is going to change so you now need to be able to refresh your pivot table and your data in your pivot table will ref refresh accordingly without having to go in and recreate everything and aggregate everything and sum everything up again. It's just a matter of clicking refresh. So your source data could be whether it's another worksheet, uh, another worksheet in another workbook, a database, MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, a web service, whatever it is, that's going to constantly change and so you want to be able to go in and just refresh your pivot table. So to refresh a pivot table, all you have to do is click on the pivot table and right click it, choose refresh. Pretty easy, huh? So you couldn't tell really here that things were refreshed. So let's go into our source data, add a few records so that you'll be able to tell that the data in the pivot table is refreshed. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add a row and a few rows and let's add some more employees like um, Johnny um, Depth, uh, how about um, Chuck Swagger, um, how about Fig Newty and how about lawn lizard and let's go ahead and drag our dates down here and we're gonna make this all internal and let's add some new clients how about Target for all of them I love Target by the way and here's our rate let's drag our rate down and our salesperson. So how about Molly Moo Petty Poo and Johnny Sue and let's do Mega Roo. Alright, so now we have lots of new um, people in here. Uh, salespeople are, the main, are the, the, the main records of interest because that's currently what's in our pivot table. So now if we refresh our pivot table, we should have those new salespeople show up. So if I right click the pivot table, click refresh, ba bam, there they are. Molly Moo, Petty Poo, Johnny Sue, and Mega Roo and the corresponding cells um, associated with those cells people. So another way to refresh the pivot table is to click on the data tab and you notice there is a refresh option here and you can do a refresh all or a refresh. So the refresh all is let's say you have this gigantic workbook and you have 20 different pivot tables in there and they're hitting different pivot different sources well you can refresh them all at one time versus going into each individual pivot table and right clicking and clicking refresh